All right, what I have is a engine more uh, 36 cc four cylinder four stroke engine. I just uh, I put it back together earlier today with new bearings or bushings, whatever you want to call them, for the uh, connecting rods and yeah, both top and bottom of the connecting rods. New pistons with the three ring design. Um, a fellow YouTuber was wondering how to set the timing on an engine like this with this ignition setup. And to be honest, I just kind of winged it. All right. What you want to do in order to set the timing, being this is a four cylinder, four stroke. Okay, where that set screw is, right there, pointing up, that is number one, top dead cylinder. Okay. And the magnet wheel setup, um, is something I made on the lathe. I put the magnet, one of them facing where number one is, and the other one would face 180 degrees opposite. One's North Pole, the other South Pole. Um, I don't know which is which, but South Pole does, I think, one in four and North Pole does two and three uh, could be the other way around I am not sure but I used this compass by RCXL ignition um, and being that this engine turns clockwise, I can't get to it right now, but you position the compass. All right, we'll go to the rear. In this case, it'll be counterclockwise. But what you want to do is you set the compass up to where top dead center zero which is right there is facing straight up that's how you want number one cylinder to be facing is straight up okay and the little sensor right here I think you want it set between 25 I think 25 and 28 degrees advanced. Uh, in other words, 25 to 28 degrees before top dead center. So you would uh, you would turn this like you would start at top dead center move the sensor around counterclockwise until you reach about like 25 to 28 degrees kind of like I can't get it to focus because of all the other distractions Kind of like where it is now. It's back towards me. Approximately 28, 25 to 28 degrees. Hell, it may be even 30. But uh, you get it somewhere in that window, 25 to 28, you can always go back and fine tune it. Uh, 
to where it runs at its best. Um, anyway, hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. I had to go get the battery. Now, here it goes. Turn the right way. Anyway, still smokes like a freight train. Let's kill the fuel pump. Yeah, I have a place to put that so it doesn't fall off. Uh, still smokes like a freight train, even with the new rings and whatnot and pistons, but it does run much better. Uh, I think the valve train is another issue. The, the valve train's really, it's got a lot of slack up there, especially in the uh, the rock arm shafts. Uh, there's a lot of play there. But uh, other than that, the little engine runs good. Still got a lot of blow by though. But uh, I'm gonna keep oil in it and, and run it and run it and run it. So hopefully 
the new rings and stuff will seat. But again, I think this engine was more or less a probably a first attempt, like a first edition. And some worked out, some didn't. This was one that didn't, but then I brought it back to life. Uh, but anyway, it has <laughs> more compression than it ever had when I first got it, so yes. Anyway, that's it. And to the fellow that posted about uh, the uh, setting of the timing, I hope it was helpful. Um, it's kind of the best I could do at the moment, but uh, whatever direction the engine turns, like in these small ones, uh, say, all right, say if it turns clockwise, you want to have the crank angle sensor advanced say 25 to 28 degrees counterclockwise so that it, the sensor reaches top dead center not top dead center I'm sorry reaches the magnet before the piston hits top dead center approximately 25 to 28 degrees but uh anyway that's it for now